And I really think in Calhoun County, we're sort of the mindset that we don't have anything and we can't get anything, and, but we're not. We're doing fabulous. And I just want us to realize what good things we do really have going on in the county. This past year in CEDA, um, we did have a, uh, we changed our website. Our board worked with me on that, and Kyle Clark at the Career and Technical Center helped me get the new website up and going. We have a Facebook account now, and Joel, I'm trying to learn to tweet. I'm not very good at that yet. Uh, we've had several expansions and renovations in the county. As already been mentioned, Peppa Pontrock Electric had a wonderful ribbon cutting over there at their substation on Highway 9 south of town, and, and as Dr. Murphy said, now we have the electric, electricity there to do anything they need to do. And, and while I'm on that subject, Chuck Howell of PEPA, I truly appreciate you and your support of our county and our, our uh, agency, our association. You are the best and we do appreciate that. Hauser uh, has 145 employees in Bruce and they're working on some upgrades right now. Mm -hmm. Hayworth Chairs in Bruce has about 450 employees and they have a proposed expansion on their existing site and we're also looking at maybe doing a turn lane on Highway 8, excuse me, Highway 9. Uh, Mayor Pope and I are meeting next week with MDOT and MDA to see if there's any money available anywhere to put a turn lane, uh, JR, like you got in Calhoun City, we want one in Bruce. Bruce also is the, is the proud home of the something called Bruce Sweet Potato, and Marshall Bailey has done that. I was out there the other day, Lisa and Joanne, it's a fantastic operation, and they were hustling out there. Cannon Motor Company is actually having a ribbon cutting ceremony Thursday. Their new building right out here is gorgeous, and of course they've renovated their shop. The Calhoun County Nursing Home is having a, an open house tomorrow morning. They've spent over $500,000 at the nursing home. And Barney, I know the county still owns that place, but it is such an asset out there, and it's going to be a good thing tomorrow when we have their open house. A new concrete plant constructed in the Calhoun City Industrial Park. Mississippi Material Center is in operation out there now. Of course, Medlick and Kids World are our own standards. Our Career Technical Center, I just can't say enough about those guys out there. Wholesome Nutrition came to town, and uh, Kevin Stafford is our plant manager over there, and I am just thrilled. James Marshall, you realize that's helped our town over there, too. So they're uh, actually drying sweet potatoes. I did, I, maybe you already, have already heard, you know, these, these site selection folks, you know, they come to town, and you're supposed to shine your shoes and brush your teeth and whatever else. But anyway, these guys came to the county, and I toured them all around. And I was so proud, I thought I was doing everything right, Mike, and I thought I'll take them to a nice place and we'll do lunch. And so we got about noontime and we were talking about lunch and I said, wow, what do you guys like to eat? And they said, we like Cokes and Nabs. So I can handle that. We went to the short stop and got Cokes and Nabs, but we landed at the side, Mike. So you've been wasting a lot of money, see, with helicopters and stuff. <laughs> Recently bought by United Furniture Industries. Folks, they employ about 150 employees over there and are adding a second shift and possibly a third. Rusty Wise, who chose to sit by the garden mayor tonight, is the plant manager. Rusty Wave at us. I appreciate that because he has stayed with us and he did appreciate you. Thank you.